Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get VXC IPTV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an extremely popular IPTV player that works well with Xtreme codes as well as M3U links. So now I'll show you how to get the app with a so now without any further ado. So now without any further ado, let me show you how to get the app to your device. First of all, you have to get an app code and loader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and there in the search bar, start typing the loader. As you can see, the loader already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still need to set it up. So to set up the loader, We'll need to go to settings, the so scroll to the right, then select that button with the gear icon. Then we need to scroll down until we see My Fire TV. Open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, open it, here you need to locate the loader and make sure that the option is turned on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now what you have to do is go back to the list of apps on your device. So there it is, open it. And here you'll find the downloader application, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Czech Republic right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now with the camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So now we have to go back to the list of apps on our device and open the downloader application. There it is, let's open it. Now just wait a couple of seconds until it loads. After that, it's again important that you have to click on Home on the left side menu. Make sure that you click on Home instead of Browser. After that, in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, your code is going to be 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on your screen and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make any mistake, your code is not going to work properly. After that, we have to click on Go and in around 5 seconds, a website is going to open up for us. Now I will enable full screen mode to make it easier for you. And now the website should open. Yep, there it is. Now we just gotta scroll down a little bit until we find that list of categories. And from the list of categories, 
you have to locate IPTV players. And there it is. That's the category that we are looking for. Now we click on it and then a huge list of apps is going to open up for us. We just have to scroll down a bit and there you'll find the XC IPTV player, which is exactly the app which we're looking for. Now we click on it and then some kind of ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, do not click on open because that would mess everything up for you. Instead, click on close to close down the ad. And now a new web page should open up for us. Yep, there it is. We also have to scroll it down. Keep scrolling until we see that download button right here. That's exactly the button we're looking for. But if for some reason it doesn't work for you and the download doesn't start, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So now we click on download right here and in a couple of moments, the XCAPTV is going to be started downloading to your device. As you can see, it's happening really fast, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, my connection is pretty fast, and it should be downloaded in just a couple of moments. Yep, there it is. Now wait a bit, and now the install button has appeared for us, so we have to click on install, and wait until XCAPTV player is installed to your Fire Stick or your Android TV, depending on your device type, of course. And now, after the app has been installed, do not click on Open yet. Instead, press on Done, because here we have an option to delete the installation file from our device, because we don't really need it anymore. So we click on Delete and Delete once again. This way, we are saving up some free space on your Fire Stick, because, well, you don't really have too much of free space on your device anyway, so there is definitely no need to clog it with unnecessary files. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, scroll to the right side, open the list, wait until it loads. After that, you have to scroll down to the very bottom, and there you'll find the XCAP TV player, which we just installed. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. As you can see, now the XCAP TV player is available at the very top of our application list. Therefore, it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then, of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected and set up to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, you can use my link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. Then, finally, open the XCAP TV player. Now it's going to load for us. Let's wait for a couple of moments. And from here, it's actually pretty simple. So if you have a live TV service with extreme codes, you would need to enter the extreme code right here, then the username and the password. All that data you get from your live TV provider. There are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which one to choose. But if you have an M3U link, which is another really popular way to use IPTV players, you would need to click on settings in the right bottom corner of your screen. So we click on settings, and here instead of Xtreme Codes API, you would need to click on M3U URL. So we click on it, and then you just enter that link right here and click on the sign in button. So that's pretty simple. And also, if you decide in the future that you don't need the XCAP TV player on your Fire Stick anyway, and you want to uninstall it from your device, it's actually really simple. You just select the app from the list, click on the Options button on your remote, once again, that's the button of three horizontal lines. Then click on Uninstall, click on Uninstall here, then OK, and this way you are deleting the app from your device. So today you learned how to get and set up XCAP TV player on your Fire Stick. And of course, you shouldn't forget to subscribe my channel for more content on Fire Sticks. See you next time. Bye bye.